What we've said is that we will roll out full fibre broadband to the whole of the country. That will cost, well, the government have put up five billion for an inferior project, pro product that they want to roll out. It won't work effectively. And we've said, actually, taking the government's own reports figures, it costs 20 billion. So we'll add 15 billion to that and that will roll out. That will pay the capital costs of rolling out full fibre broadband. What we said to do that, we'll set up a company called British Broadband, bringing open reach back into public ownership as well as BT technology and some other elements of BT. And yes, that will be paid for by government bonds swapped for the existing shares. Parliament, in the normal way with public ownership, will determine the price and then we'll bring it into public ownership and immediately start the rollout. And the, I just say to the Conservatives and others, it's not that we can't... If we don't do this, we can't afford not to do it. We're falling behind our global competitors. I'm following the example. Take Korea, South Korea, for example. What South Korea did is exactly this. They set up a state company and they rolled out their full fibre broadband over a 10-year programme. And you know, they've covered nearly 97% of their country. We now have about 10 to 12 percent. We're falling behind. Japan, the same. Stockholm has actually done this as well, all through Stockholm, through the local municipality. Okay. Ireland itself now is making sure broadband over there is in public ownership. This is the way to do it. And if we don't do it, we will fail to compete. No, Parliament all, in every public ownership in the past, Parliament will determine the value itself and will ensure, and Parliament will ensure, that it's done with a proper price and the government bonds will be swapped for shares. And you know the shareholders will get a stable, long-term investment. That's exactly what pension funds and other shareholders are saying they need for the long term. So it will be a good deal. But the most important thing you know is, well, alongside that, people will get free access to the broadband and I've been touring around the country, small towns, coastal towns, elsewhere. And, you know, even in some of our city areas, they're not connected up. And they're saying we're being held back. Our local economy is being held back. So this is good for the economy. Do you know the calculation for the Centre of Economic and Business Studies actually put a £59 billion increase in productivity. In addition to that, you know, there are environmental benefits. We'll ensure that there's no job losses in this. In fact, there must probably be job increases as we roll out the whole programme. And what we've said is that in terms of the operating costs for the future, what we've said very, very clearly, first of all, the rollout costs comes from the implementation money that we'll borrow to do that, the 20 billion. And we'll roll that out effectively. On maintenance and ongoing maintenance, we've said we'll pay for that by taxing the multinational companies fairly. And we're introducing what the IMF and others are recommending, which is unitary taxation. You assess these companies on the sales within your country and their operation overall. You then use that as a percentage of their global operation and you tax on that. And I tell you this. These companies now have to pay their fair share. There'll be no more sweetheart deals as there are between the Conservatives and these companies where they do not pay their way. And this is being recommended globally now, so we're in line with what IMF and others now are recommending.